wrapped up the stimulus bill, but we're still talking about uh, money on the economy, especially when you talk about the state of Florida. Christine Romans is here to talk about uh, really the housing issues in the state of Florida. That is a really, really big deal. Half the mortgages uh -huh. in that state are underwater. I'm stunned by that number. You said in the nation almost. And effectively in the nation. Thirty percent in the nation, but 50 percent effectively underwater. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, the background noise for voters when they go into the polling place on, on Tuesday, I mean, it's going to be about housing and jobs. And I want to introduce you to a real estate agent who's, who's very busy, and he's not a real estate agent who is selling houses. He's not busy selling houses. He's checking on the homes the bank owns or the bank thinks they own and they want to sell. He's checking, going door to door, seeing if anybody is living in these like houses. squatters? Squatters, or in some cases, people have left a house so long ago, there's other people living in, paying rent to someone, and no one even knows who owns this house. Mm -hmm. That's the reality in Florida. Listen. If you don't have gainful employment, you can't make a mortgage payment. So ultimately, that's the crisis that we're in. Um, you know, obviously there were some issues with some lenders uh, in the past as well, but uh, when market values plummet like they have, and that in conjunction with the unemployment rate right now, uh, I don't think any of this can be a shock to anybody. So it's housing and it's uh, jobs all together. In Florida, home prices, you guys, were cut in half. Florida's jobless rate is 9.9%. Um, wow, more than, uh, I think, 900,000 people are, are out of work. Yet, housing experts and um, academics say the seeds of recovery are there. I did a study going back to the 60s, and times when it's this affordable, five years hence, prices have usually gone up uh, significantly. Now, I don't know this is so unusual and yeah. so rare, but this is such a good sign that housing prices will go up in the future. Well, that's the first time I'm starting to hear about it. Yeah. They'll be up five years in the future. You tell that to homeowners there in Florida, they said, no way. Um, he says that for many home buyers, this is the first time in more than a decade that it's actually affordable. They can buy a home. Look at mortgage rates. A 30-year fixed rate mortgage is less than 4%. Popular refinancing tool is a 15-year. It's just over 3%. That's crazy. That's free money to buy a house. But so far, the buyers in Florida and elsewhere in the country, you guys, are basically paying cash. It's foreign buyers, Brazil, China are examples, uh, cash investors. Now, if you're smelling housing opportunity, what you need is money down. A lot of people don't have that. A credit score of 750 or higher, if they don't have that either. Proof of income, that's the whole problem in Florida. And you can't already be saddled with a house to sell. And the word from the trenches in Florida is that banks, though, are finally starting to do short sales. About time. Yep, instead of outright foreclosures. Um, that's better for the property owner, the homeowner, the property, the neighborhood, the oh, whole bit. Yes. But it's crazy walking through some of these some of these neighborhoods. Just, we see swaths of homes that right. have no one living. And the big, other problem is when you don't have folks with those homes paying those mortgages, property taxes, for everybody. property values right. have fallen. That's where the short fall comes in for school districts, city right, government, county right, government. Right. In Florida, so much of their yeah. revenue was built on transaction tax, m taxes for real estate that was put into the schools, right. and then that disappears and the schools suffer. So, But the, the smelling opportunity is what people with money are saying. People with cash yeah. are smelling opportunity, but it's the rest of the people going to vote who are like, I Opportunity. Yeah, That's no cool opportunity. To talk yeah, about opportunity. Well, as I like to say, smart out. is the new rich. Isn't that a book you wrote, <laughs> Christine Romans? This yes. segment is called Smart is the New Rich, you're right. Ooh, and it's the same cool. name as your book. Yes, thank you. It's just true. Yes. 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 yes.